the best thing you can do for people, right? Is just give them that positive energy and they take it back and it builds that momentum. And I mean, that, that weekend or the, those couple of days were so, so awesome because that's the attitude that every single person there brought. They were just so excited to be around people who love the same things as them. And just, it was awesome. Yeah. I went to a private preschool and every year after that, from kindergarten through seventh grade, I was homeschooled and I credit homeschooling to everything that I have and everything that I am today. I, it shaped me as a human and I got to really just discover who I was, you know, right. It was probably the most bizarre way to get back into school because in eighth grade, I applied to and got accepted to a, um, this art school. It's a charter school. So any kids from any County in Western Pennsylvania were able to apply with whatever skill they had, they had different departments. So there were, there was literary arts, media arts, which I was in dance, musical theater. So kids came from all across Western Pennsylvania, um, to go to this specific art school. And because of that, my bus ride was an hour and a half there and back. So my first introduction to, you know, quote, real school was, three hours on a bus every day you know I I still think that screen time should be limited among young kids it's they're just so impressionable and it's you can literally access anything from a smartphone which on one hand is a huge advantage but on the other hand you don't know what these kids are getting into or what they're stumbling across so not relying on social media to give me inspiration and really tapping into the inspiration that I had as a kid. You know, it's, it's honestly, it's getting back to five-year-old Hannah who would spend hours drawing and painting and coming up with these scenes from her own head. And I'm getting a little bit, a little bit of that imagination back. So it's pretty cool.